This video is sponsored by Y Food. Welcome back, you beautiful people. We are Gemma and Campbell, and guess what? We're going back to Batman! Woo! This week, you join us as we wave goodbye to sunny Malta and hop on a plane back home to the safety of our beautiful home on wheels. We're home! Malta was an absolute blast, but you know, as the saying goes, there's no place like home, and we are so happy to be back. Refreshed and recharged from our two weeks in the sun, we are ready for our biggest adventure in Scotland yet. The question is, is our van? It is now time to get our motorhome Ellie fully equipped and ready for our off-grid adventures of 2022. Starting with a good clean, packing up for another stint on the road and finally installing our solar panels. All pretty straightforward tasks, right? Come on guys, you know what we are like. Oh, absolute disaster. I knew it was going too smoothly, I knew it. Come along as we get our Eldis AutoQuest 155 equipped and ready for our big Scottish road trip and maybe learn a thing or two about what not to do when converting a camper van. First things first however, let's check back in as we soak up the last of the Maltese sunshine and turquoise waters. And so all of a sudden, it's our last 24 hours in Malta. How has two weeks gone past already? So sad. We're going to make the most of our last day here. We've come to the capital city of Valletta and we're just going to go on a little exploration, show you guys the beautiful city, show you the beautiful buildings and just really soak up the last of the Maltese atmosphere. Ended up in the upper Barocca Gardens just in time for the noonday gun. You're absolutely terrified, aren't you, boob? I can't deal with these loud noises. I'm like, how am I going to hold my hat on, keep my dress from blowing up, and put my fingers in my ears? So basically, that noonday gun goes off every single day at midday, and I think it's probably one of the most popular tourist attractions on the entire city of Valletta because pretty much the entire city seemed to go yeah. along to it. If it was peak season and it was as busy as it would be during the middle of summer, I don't think we would have actually got a view unless you're about half an hour early because we kind of had to elbow our way to the front. But it's just after midday now, so I think it's time for an ice cream. Do we go and find one? Yeah. Oh, Campbell, look, that looks good. It's funny if you just turn off the main street, you can save like a euro on something like that. Like it was 2.50 up there, 180 here. Save yourself 80 cents? 70. 70 cents. Here on holiday, I'll let you off. Okay, I guess that's what happens when you don't read the fine print. I think we just got done there, babe. How? 460. What? Yeah. What was the fine print? 50 cents for the cone and 180 oh. for the scoop. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Anyway, ice cream good. So I went for the lemon, I guess it's like a lemon sorbet. sorbet, yeah, lemon sorbet and you got the vanilla. Yeah. Very Probably refreshing. Like ice cream yeah, well. very fresh. It's definitely worth the money. Oh, sadly, it's time to say goodbye to the wee scoots. What's her name? Do we name her? Yeah, Sally. Sally Scoots. Now it's just to see if we can get the deposit back. Oh, well, I've just got to open it and the key's snapped. Yeah, that's gone. What a legend. 100 euro deposit. So if you are coming to Malta, I recommend you go to Bug Bugaba, I think we're in. Our pirate shop. Yeah. Legend. Okay, so we got home. Ended up sitting out in the balcony chatting absolute nonsense for about the past 45 minutes all about, you know, where we want to go in Scotland and how we want to write the best cookbook in the entire world and only just realised that we are actually leaving tomorrow morning. We need to check out about 10am and we'd probably better start packing. And this is all after our happy hour cocktails and half a bottle of wine each. Are you feeling confident, babe? Packing. I'm gonna get my best shot. That's all you can do at the end of the day. And you want to hear the funny thing? It's because the weather isn't quite as we expected it to be. We thought we might be able to get away with a little bit more summer attire. Then I have so many clothes in there that I haven't even worn. And now I'm gonna be worrying about a weight limit and fitting it all in my suitcase, even though I haven't even worn half the clothes in there. So a little bit annoying. <laughs> Let's also just take a wee quick look at Gemma's suitcase. So um, Gemma's already half packed. She's got the entire contents of Lidl European chocolate. Literally because they used to sell these in the UK. Uh, it's like Praline chocolates, Schogetten originals. And they don't sell them in the UK anymore, but they are to die for. So they are 
amazing. But if Ryanair don't like it, that's tough luck because I need my pralines. Okay, I think that actually shows just how optimistic I was about the weather here. Um, we bought these literally while we were in Bristol. Still got the tags on them. I've literally been wearing the same trousers for the past two weeks because it is freezing cold in Malta. I just want some warm weather, babe. Sorted. Done. Pretty much done. Just need to sort the last bits tomorrow. Yeah, we've still got a lot to do, but those are all the clothes for tomorrow. What are we doing in the morning? Going for one last swim because, I'm not going to lie, the water here is so nice. It's not going to be that warm when we get back to Scotland, so we're definitely making the most of it and going for one more gym session tomorrow and one more swim. And then it's just the finishing pa uh, blah, 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 finishing touches before we actually need to go for a flight. We're getting picked up at quarter past four tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye, Malta. So I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. Being in the Scottish Highlands is one of my favourite places. Mmm, rabbit poo. Tasty. Look, one of the most common animals you will see in the Scottish Highlands. A vegetarian haggis. Don't move too quick though, you'll scare it. The number one most important thing though that you need to know when you visit the Scottish Highlands is hold that thought. We might have just discovered the most rare and amazing food in the Scottish Highlands. It's Y food. Y food is a high calorie, highly delicious and high nutrition snack that is perfect for on-the-go lifestyles just like ours. Whether you prefer a tasty drink instead of eating rabbit poo whilst out in the hills or you just live a busy lifestyle and need a grab-and-go meal, Y food is also perfect for you. We like to put our powder in our porridge in the morning as well as mix it up with water for an easy on-the-go snack. It also comes in a huge range of flavours and styles such as powdered drinks, ready-made milkshakes and easy grab snack bars, all of which come in vegan friendly options. Oh god, it tastes so much better than moss. Wait, are you filming? Are you filming? Turn that camera off! The next day, we made the most of the warmer waters with one final dip in the sea. Before we headed back to the hotel to finish off our packing, make sure it was under the weight limit, and bid goodbye to our hotel room, all ready for our flight back to the UK. Soaking up the last of that sunshine. I'm gonna miss it, I'm not gonna lie. After an incredible holiday to the beautiful and inspiring island of Malta, we were very excited to get back to our home on wheels for the adventures that lay ahead. Ta da! We're home! We're home! It honestly it feels so, so good just so to see it again. I know. I heard the engine and I was like, I, know. I recognise that sound. Okay, right, so we're all set up on the road. And what's the plans? To drive as far as we can, basically, whilst we're still awake, yep. until we get tired. And yep. you're going to be drinking a lot of coffee? I think so. First stop, McDonald's, go and get some dinner. And then the plan is we need to get all the way up to Edinburgh because we're going to our like our book supplier for Destination NT500. We need to pick up another package of them and take them across to my house just so that we've got some to ship out for us because we're almost out of stock already. So yeah, that's what we need to do yeah. to get there for first thing tomorrow morning. And if you remember, we have absolutely zero gas, which is why we're going to be running off McDonald's coffees and things I like that so. because I don't think we're going to get any down here, especially not at this time of night. So that is going to be a job for tomorrow. Okay, let's get on the road. We'll see you guys whenever we see you. Good morning, everybody. So we made it to Kendall in the Lake District. And look. It's beautiful outside. It's so beautiful. And we woke up at like, what, quarter to seven? Yeah. And the sun is shining. It's absolutely beautiful. It's spring. Yeah. It's officially spring. So basically we arrived here about 3am last night and it's been a very peaceful night's sleep just off the side of the road, cars are starting to pass by now but apart from that I had an absolutely beautiful sleep. No wind, no rain and it's so good to be back in LA. I just hope we didn't wake our neighbours up last night at 3am, sorry. It's 
now 10 past 7, we have a lot of stuff to do today, so we better get on the road. And while I'm driving, what are you doing? I am finalising all the Malta blog posts, so we're going to have a best day trips from Malta, a day trip to Gozo, eight of the best things you can do in Malta, and a one week itinerary to Malta. More will be coming, but these are the four that I'm like working on at the moment. Let's get the show on the road. Finally made it. Not a long drive, man. So what is the plan of attack? Um, I'll go and get the books, if you can get the van tidied up. Yeah, let's get it lo loaded up and get home. Alright, so if you're a little bit lost about what exactly is in all of these boxes, uh, or you just want to hear us talk about it again, basically last summer we wrote a book on the North Coast 500 in Scotland, and these this is the fruits of our labour, basically. Yeah, we've yep. sold a, probably about 1,700 books now. And the funny thing was, is at the end of the year we're like, we've ordered a thousand books, we were only going to order 200. Yeah. We were encouraged to order a thousand, we did, and we thought, right, if we can sell them by the end of 2022, we'll be really happy. Yep sold out in the first two months. So this is oh, the next it? stock, which I'm very excited to check out actually because it arrived when we were actually just leaving for Malta. So we've not actually seen this version of the book yet. We went with a new printer to make it a bit cheaper. And yeah, let's get one of these boxes open. We can show you the book. And there she is. And this is our baby. And one of you will be holding this copy very, very soon. We are just so pleased with how it's doing and we really, really hope that if you're going to do the North Coast 500 that it will help you plan really in depth as to what you want to do because we've gone into so much detail. There's over 110 sites and the aim of it really is to encourage people to spread out around the route. There's so many spots up there that when we were up there for four months we found that nobody really talks about so we've added them into this book and we hope it... We hope it helps you to plan an awesome trip of a lifetime. And free postage. Go get your copy. What is also very exciting is that we've finally started to actually write the next book. I'm not going to tell you what it is on just yet. If you want to have a wee guess, you know, let us know in the comments below what you would like to write for, like us to write a book about. But we're already started in the next Destination Earth Guide book and yeah, it's going to be a good year. All right, good morning everyone. It's about a couple of days later. Yesterday we just kind of arrived, got settled in, spent the night watching the rugby and waited for a good weather window to actually get everything sorted before we head on this road trip. Made up a lovely little list for you guys. And today's main plan is to get the solar panels installed. Now if you remember actually a couple of months ago, we bought these solar panels. We had installed the battery to battery charger. And since then it's actually solved most of our electrical issues. We don't need to run our generator anymore. And whenever we're driving around, it basically tops up our leisure batteries and it's fantastic. We couldn't install our solar panels because the weather wasn't really on our side. And now two months later, the day has finally come and we're ready to get Ellie a proper off-grid adventurer for our Scotland road trip. You'll also notice the van's looking pretty lonely and that's because instead of helping me, Gemma's decided to go off gallivanting with her family, so I've had to recruit some help instead. Luckily for me, my dad said he's going to help out. Ready? Ready. Let's go. So this is the equipment we're working with. We've got two 120 watt uh, solar panels, some cabling to connect it all together. And this is just a little gland. Basically, I'm going to drill a hole in this, uh, the roof of the motorhome, put the cables through this, and then just glue this to the roof to stop any water getting in. So basically to give the glue a little bit of abrasion against the actual surface of the van, we're just going to sand down the plasticky vinyl material. Just trying to increase the surface area for the glue to actually bind to. Who's joined the party? What are your thoughts? Good! I'm really excited about it. So the next step is just actually getting the cables installed. We're thinking about drilling a hole just in this cupboard here, up through the roof. And then basically the cables will come down, run along here, and into our solar charge controller. And yeah, I feel like the worst of it's done, so it should be pretty simple from here. Black to black, 6.37 amps 
That's not bad, is it? That looks pretty good. Yeah. Sounds good. Fantastic. As well, so you get a sunny day in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh, absolute disaster. We'd literally wired it all up, everything was working perfectly, and then my dad turns to me and says, oh, I hope, I hope you, we used the right glue, because if you guys remember before, the reason why we couldn't install our solar panels was because we accidentally bought sealant rather than adhesive glue. So we had to delay it until it arrived, blah, 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 and both of us had completely forgotten um, that there was two bottles. So what have we done? We've gone and used the wrong glue. Typical man, 50, 50 completely chance. forgot. I knew it was going too smoothly. I knew it. It was going too smoothly and that's it. I think we're gonna to need to like take it all off, scrape it down, clean it, and basically just redo it again, man. Bloody two and a half hours later, we need to start from square one. And we've only got two hours left until we need to actually go out for dinner. Oh. Okay, it's done. It's working up there. The sealant's on properly, the glue. And um, yeah, shouldn't be going anywhere. Thank God for that. It was actually a lot quicker, so maybe we'll just chalk the first time down to practice, because the second time we actually knew what we were doing. Why are we like this? I would honestly like to say that we do it for entertainment for you guys, but actually, we are just that tragic. Well, I say we. I wasn't involved in that one, so it wasn't my fault. <laughs> you can't get out of it that easy. <laughs> oh, the dramas. We learn from them. We somehow always yeah, do them right. again, but we learn from yeah. them. Well, maybe I would just advise that if you do see Ellie hurtling along the road, hang back a couple of hundred metres just so you don't get a solar panel through the windscreen. So the plan now is we're going out for dinner with my parents um, and my sister for her birthday. And yeah, we'll probably just catch back up with you guys in the morning because we've still got a lot to do tomorrow, such as packing up and stuff. So we'll see you then. You ready for the Scottish road trip, baby? I sure am. I can't wait. The sun is shining and the forecast is looking to be like this all week, so I'm really, really excited. Now, where we're going exactly, we're going to keep a little bit of a secret until you watch next week's video, but we're starting to head north once again up to the region of Westeros, and it is going to be such an epic adventure. First up, however, we need to go and get food, so that's going to be in the Burton. Quickly go to Lido top up water at our usual spot in Tarbet and then get probably fuel in Fort William before we actually head out into the wilderness. First stop we need to make is we need to empty the toilet and top up the water as usual. Okay, so that's all sorted now, but how good does it feel to be back in Ellie? Seriously. So good, so good. I have missed her and I think, yeah, the weather is just making all the difference. It's so nice and really buzzing to get going again. Exactly, it was so good to be back on the road again. Oh, I know it's not even been that long since we were last here, but I just never, ever get sick of that view. It's incredible, man, especially on a day like today. All right, babe, so what do you think? Another um, icy dip in the meeting of the three waters? Do you know, it often scares me a little how much we read each other's minds because I was honestly just about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> this happens too often. All right, how about instead we just decide if there's car parking, we'll go for a swim, and if there's not, then c'est la vie, it's not meant to be. Oh. Take out of our hands. Here it is. Here. Is that a space? Is that a space? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Why did I say that? Uh, oh <laughs> no. All right. We get ready. Three, two, one. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I think the worst part of this is definitely going to be the shock coming from the medium kind of lukewarm waters of Malta which was about 15 degrees and this water here is ice melt so it's going to be about 4 degrees. What a beautiful setting though for a swim babe. Oh the best. I'm excited as much as I am scared. So there she is just over there is where our pool. And yeah would you believe the last time we actually came here was only about a month ago. Completely different temperature and weather to then. But I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be the same outcome. A lot of screaming, a lot of regret, and not a very long swim. A 
I tell you what though, what a way to start off the trip. Oh, you honestly. You feel fresh? I feel incredible. That was so much better than the last time. I actually managed to swim for 10 seconds. My feet were off the floor. If that's not a new personal vest, I don't know what it is. Let's get changed back on the road. McDonald's coffee and a hot chocolate. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I need to heat up a little bit. As we left the incredible scenery of the Glencoe Pass behind and ventured northwards into the wilderness of Westeros, we were beginning to remember the feeling of excitement that comes with the unknown of any road trip. The world was ours to explore as our home on wheels carried us along through the stunning landscape of the remote highlands and our hearts were fit to burst with the love that we felt towards our home country. I think this is going to be like the longest road trip of our lives. We've still got another two hours to actually get to the location we're trying to settle at tonight. And we'd hope to get there for sunset, but we just cannot stop pulling over. I know, it's road. been such a bitty drive, which has been good because in a way it doesn't feel like we've been driving that long. But it's just, all of a sudden the sun's setting. It's so going. beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. We've just pulled in, I don't know the name of this loch. So it's Loch Gary and the sun is just about to dip below the horizon and it is just stunning. We couldn't not pull in and show you guys it. This is special. This is something else, man. This is why we travel in the motorhome. Because it's memories like this. Incredible man, incredible. Absolutely stunning. I didn't even know it was here, didn't even know it really existed, never really noticed it before. But that light, and it's actually really peaceful, like there is a road just up there but you can hear the birds out here as well and the water and it's just really peaceful, it's quite sheltered from the wind. I really like it here. Yeah this is definitely some welcome back to Scotland, definitely some welcome man. Incredible. So I think we might end this video there guys, but we have so many fun activities planned for the next week, starting tomorrow, and we cannot wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, if you do wanna see what we get up to, we're heading up to Torridon and we've got some proper insane adventures planned hit the subscribe button and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up because it just lets us know that we're doing the right thing and you want to see more videos just like this one and as always guys we'll see you again in the next one see ya yeah babe what a welcome home even the fish are coming up to say hi to us i know they're going mad out there now scotland's just happy to have us back i think i think so